A standing man is near the lake. His wife comes close to him as he turns around, and he seems to have been bewitched. Immediately he jumps into the lake. His wife is crying a lot, saying to let him go. Take me in return of him, and suddenly her husband comes on the surface of water in normal state. His wife helps him to come out from water, but his wife is suddenly dragged into water by the mysterious things. He tries to help her, but something is alluring her inside. And these doers are mermaids. They took the life of his wife in replacement of his life. And afterward, a fiancé couple is shown. The girl's name is Marina while the name of boy is Roman. In fact, they are in swimming pool. Marina's fiancé teaches her swimming because she does not know how to swim. At the same time, Roman's friend came there challenging him the swimming race. And Roman goes for swimming race leaving Marina at the pool edge coping. At the back of them, Marina tries herself to swim. She immediately begins to drown, and Roman does not know about it at all. After swimming, he finds drowning Marina. On it, Roman saves her life quickly. Marina is now secure. A quarrel is held between them after this incident. Then Roman visits with his friend in a house built at the edge of lake. It's his father's house. Roman tells to his friend that her mother's death occurred in the lake near this house due to drowning. And after it, his father had gone mad. Now the reality is exposed that a standing person near the lake is Roman's father. And Mermaid had put his mother into death drowning. Roman's friend brings him into a stag party because Roman is nearly to get married. Both observe the basement filled with water, so they think either this stagnant water is the problem of sewerage or the rainwater. After a while, their other friends also come for party. Roman leaves the party for some times because of his bad mood and sits at the edge of the same lake. He quickly calls to Marina, but she is engaged in some work. And Roman jumps into that lake for swimming. While swimming, Roman realizes the presence of someone there except him. He comes outside the lake and sees a girl combing her hair. Taking her mermaid, he is attracted and comes near her. Both come near each other. Grinning she asks, do you love me? Marina then is calling Roman but gets no response. Roman's friends are in search of him next morning. He is senseless at the edge of lake. Coming into conscious, he asks about that mermaid. His friends find the comb of mermaid on floor, and the same comb is also found by Marina in the dress of Roman. Roman does not feel good and shows low performance after this incident. His coach advises him to have more practice. While taking bath after training, he faces mysterious happenings. As Mermaid is behind him and asks, Do you love me? He instantly turns around but Mermaid is disappeared. Coming home, Roman feels more disturbed. Because he suffers fever now. Marina thinks he is unwell because of workout. Then a girl is tickling Roman. He takes her Marina and shouts. As he rises to check, but there is no one. Marina drugs Roman for sleeping and makes a video call with his sister. Informing her about the condition of Roman, Marina says, he is perhaps involved in another girl. Saying it, she shows her comb. Looking at that comb, Alger is shocked. She notices the same comb in the pictures of his father and mother. Next day, Roman jumps into the pool for training. He finds himself in the same pool. He comes outside. And same mermaid is encountered by him. He again asks the same question, do you love me? On it, he refuses. Roman loses his senses as she shrieks and he is at the edge of swimming pool. All people try to restore his sense. Roman is more disturbed after this happening. He has to admit in hospital because of high fever. And Roman tells the whole story to everyone. As after meeting a girl, different things began to happen with him. And that girl is always with him everywhere. And Alger asks Roman, where did he meet that girl first time? He tells, he met her at the edge of lake. She had worn his shirt. Hearing it, Marina is got angry and leaves. Roman follows her but he could not walk because of feebleness. Suddenly, Marina hears someone as a result, she goes in different directions. Roman also goes after her and reaches in a room where he again encounters Mermaid. And the door is locked before Marina reaches there. Mermaid attacks on Roman so far the people brings Roman out from the room. Alger understands everything noticing all happening. And she brings him to her father. First of all, their father forbids to meet them and asks to go. Then he hears everything by Alger. Hearing her, he ignores but later weeps a lot on the condition of Roman. 
and says, Do not hear the words of Mermaid, otherwise she will take you with her. He tells the whole story as he met Mermaid at the edge of lake. Troubling him, she was visible before him everywhere. And your mother used many tricks to avoid it, but all were in vain. And she brought your mother with it. And he also says, I still miss her. Here he does not mention of his wife, but that unforgettable mermaid. All move to that house at the edge of lake hearing it. Roman and Marina stay at house. And Alger goes at that edge of lake with Roman's friend Leah. Jumping into the lake, Leda finds a grave in the lake. He swims near the grave which has an engraved name on it. He reads it and also finds the dead bodies around it. Seeing it, Leah tries to escape but Mermaid pulls him down. Anyhow, he comes outside the water and with the help of Alger he arrives at the edge of lake and tells the name of Mermaid Lisa Gragoriva. On the other side Marina observes a lady in front house. Going there, she faces Roman's mother ghost. She tells that she was in ritual before death. Roman's mother also says, Take your belonging while return my belonging. In fear, Marina returns to her house. She comes near Roman and notices an evil power was pulling Roman to basement. On it, Marina helps Roman, suddenly Mermaid comes before sight and begins to pull again. Glimpsing her, Marina attacks on that mermaid and drags Roman upside. And that place is locked down with a nail and Alger tells, in previous age. Suiciders were buried at the edge of lake, rather than in a graveyard. It is thought that Lisa Gregoriva had also committed suicide, whose grave was made there. Her grave was also submerged as a result of the water logging. And she also says that you should not take of her comb because mermaids' all strength is in their hair. Along it, Marina mentions Roman's mother talking about the comb of her and ritual, and Marina requests Leah to wait for her outside the cottage, and starts a ritual going inside. Meanwhile, Mermaid appears before Leah and asks, Do you love me? He replies, Yes, and she bewitches him. She also bewitches Roman and compels him to come in basement. Observing it, Alger tries to stop him but attacked by him. On the other side, Marina starts the accurate ritual after a practice. She soaks comb into water. Looking into mirror, she says, Take your thing back and return my love. The comb is disappeared immediately and drowning the face of Marina into water, Mermaid shows her past. That what happened with her in past in which after a proposal, a lad deceives her marrying another girl. Facing, she murders them and suicides jumping into lake. Afterward she is turned into mermaid, and she entrapped many males alluring them and drowned them into death. Roman runs to cottage from basement as he comes in his senses where Leah is also bewitched. He goes inside the cottage where many mermaids are impersonated into Marina and ask, Do you love me? He is able to recognize the real Marina and expresses his love. Doing this all witchcraft is over. Everything seems normal next morning. Leah is still bewitched by mermaid. Accepting his love, he moves to basement. Roman also follows him. Mermaid takes Leah with her. Roman tries to save him but is attacked by mermaid again and says she will snatch your everything. At the same time Marina and Alger also reach there and help Roman to escape and they all immediately leave that place. Covering a distance, their car breaks down. Roman comes outside to check the car, suddenly rain starts and where they again see a mermaid and water begins to fill in car at first sight. In fact, Mermaid was wanting to snatch Roman from Marina, so doing all these things. Roman immediately breaks the window gals, saving Alger and Marina. On it Alger says, why is she not leaving us even we have returned her comb back? And Roman gets understanding that she will not stop pursing him. Roman quickly moves to lake, and Marina also runs after him. But hitting on her head, someone makes her unconscious. Mermaid comes near him as he reaches at the edge of lake. She then again asks to Roman, do you love me? Roman replies on it, yes. But Mermaid says to him, no, you love that girl and attacks on Roman. On the other side we see that Alger makes Marina the source of sacrifice in a ritual. The purpose behind this ritual is the sacrifice of her upcoming wife in the place of her brother. Weeping Marina pleads Alger to stop it but she ignores. At the same time, Roman's father arrives there and asks Alger to stop all doings with Marina because Mermaid's motive is same. Alger agrees with her father. Mermaid reaches there at once. Alger's father requests Mermaid to spare life of everyone and take me with you. Thereafter, he expresses his love as a result she brings Alger's father attacking him. Seeing it, Alger pulls the hair of Mermaid. 
Unfastening her strings, Marina cuts the hair of Mermaid with scissors. Mermaid was in the form of devil having strength in her hair. She began to feel unrest as the hair are cut. At first sight, she attacks on Alger and takes with her. Marina is unable to save Alger and her father. But, to save the life of Roman, she quickly goes at the edge of lake and finds him lying there inconveniently. Coming there, she tells to Roman that Mermaid's all straighten is not in comb but in her hair. Roman loses his conscious hearing it and Marina jumps into the water. Marina is attacked by a mermaid, but she cuts her hair in front of the mermaid. With the cutting of her hair, Roman comes into senses. Marina comes to Roman and both embrace. And she asks Roman, do you love me? Suspecting her, Roman begins to cut her hair. And she is in fact mermaid. She came before him impersonating Marina. As the haircut, she loses her strength. Roman then jumps into lake and takes Marina outside the water who is senseless. After a while, Marina restores her consciousness. It is shown that they have won this fight through their mutual love. And the strength of mermaid kneels down before them. And the movie also ends here.